Welcome back, everybody. Cheers to everybody watching in the chat right now. Um, hello, Busty, Fallout fan, and Tanaka. Um, we've got Calberry, Dalmont, and Yelby here today. Um, looking at this, which is a hanger that I've made. Um, I've made it for use with logic. So we've got Yelby's currently docked. It's just Stop. enough room to close the door. And um, we've got a way out. Got a decontamination room. You can look out and see the hangar. And then here we have a control room, which will be used for controlling the uh, hangar door and getting into the ship. So I've got to imagine there's a ship here. <laughs> This is obviously going to be the way in, so that'll be the exterior. So the first step uh, is going to be this first door here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the logic down on this plate underneath so it's easy to see. So if I just put a logic block down like that and push C on it, move over to my Plex doors. If I put symmetry on real quick, just on the middle, and then change the uh, mode here so that we've got it about the same size as the door. So I'm going to make that wider. And then you click and hold. <laughs> and Yelby, you. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you reckon you could back out of there, bro? <laughs> okay, so you, you click and hold. I'll do it again over the top here. Click and hold. And as you can see, they're all selected. I'll just get rid of those. So that's how we've got. So we've got our door on, and it's all hooked up to one thing. So that's job done. So we can move on to the next bit. So we'll put an activation block down, push C on it, get our doors, change them to fit the hole that I want to fill, which is a three by three by one. And it's done too much again. <laughs> there we go. And then finally, there's one more door, which is through here. So I'll put that one there, push C. Change the dimensions again. So this one is going to be three by one, uh, sorry, by four by one. And we'll have it go right where the red light is, I think, or just there. There we go. Lovely. So we've got our three doors hooked up to three activation blocks. Oh yes, look at the symmetry. So let's see, C. Gives me those ones. So the next step, once we've done all the doors, is to manage the lighting. The lighting's a little strong right now, so what we're going to do... Oh, look at this. What's this doing here? Symmetry for the win. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn these lights off. They're not all going to be on. The reds will be on at the same time and the blues will be on at the same time. That's it. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you one and then I'll just multiply it, multiply it up and come back. So I'm going to put one down. This will be for the blues here. So we're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, that's it. And then for the two reds, I'm going to go on this side and go one, two, three, four. Just like that. And I'm going to now double that up. Okay, so that's that side done. Obviously, I've turned them all off, so you can check which ones are working. So there we go. I'm going to go and do the other side. Okay, so I've done the back. On the back, I've actually hooked up this side to the blue and this side to the red. As you can see, we've got this side in now. We had to make a few alterations for this, where the uh, hanger to our ship, inverted commas, is. So now all the lights are controlled. Well, what's next? Oh, also, just make sure they work, shall we? Turn them all off. It's a great way to make sure it all works. No, that's good. Remember, you can hit R in build mode now, so that's the thing. Oh, and look, we've already spotted an error. So that's good. There we go, and the lights are out. Okay. So now when we come in here, it's a lot greener. So that's the next bit we're going to have to do is 
manage the lighting for the green lights. So I'm going to get on that. Okay, so we've hooked up these now to our activation blocks. I've gone in sequence from the inside out. So if I just test them, off, off, off. So now all the lights in here are out, except for that cool purple glow we get from the uh, force field, I guess. I'm just doing that, by the way, so that you can see what's going on from the outside. It's This would probably just be a ceiling. We've got that purple glow coming through. What's interesting is if these were blocks, not grills, that purple light wouldn't come through. But because I've filled in the wall with the grill, you get a depth of you get a bit of depth, and you get the, the lighting coming out. Even though the uh, compartment would normally block it at this height, as you can see there, so it's kind of cool. So we've got this powered down state now, because so I'm going to have switches that will turn everything off, everything on, all the blue lights on, all the red lights on. The doors, everything. So, oh, cheers, Busty. He's just saying he missed me yesterday. Yeah, I wasn't feeling too well, guys. But uh, I have been feeling a little bit better, so thank you very much for that. Right, so, let's move on to the next part. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually put down a delay circuit. So, I want these things to go off every one and a half seconds. So, if I start here and go one two three and that will trigger one of them and then i'll go one two three again one two three one two three there we go so i'm just going to hook these up with c v just to hook them up to each other so it's just literally c v c v c v c v And then an activation block at the end because I like terminals. Okay, so now what we've got is a 1.5 second delay and I've put a gap in so that you can see the break. So there'll be one for each of these. So what we'll do is we're going to put an activation block in and the reason for that is because I don't like linking straight off the delay into it. I might not want to do it like that all the time, so but in this case I am. So I'm going to put the activation blocks there. I can also change it later which makes it a bit easier. So then we'll hook these in. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to take this activation block now, say I want a red circuit, I'm going to put a, uh, the red circuit will just come on in a different way. So this is all about the blue circuit right now, okay? So just going to come into, let's see, that's red, so it's blue on the right. So in there, take this one, put that in there, this one, put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. So then we've got our blue lights. Okay, so all the blue all the blue lights will come on. Here we go. Okay. So whenever they get an input, it'll go off. Right? Does it see it from the inside? Nice. So now we're basically going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now we've completed it on the other side, and here is the test. I'm going to put two through this time. That went too fast. But there you go. Works. Excellent. Okay, so we finished the back end now. The back end has got a three, uh, one and a half second delay, just like the rest. So it will set off the entire back row. So I'll just demo that for you. And it stayed on because of course. So that's what it'll go through like. It'll flash. It's perfect. Because if I turn that on there, right, turn that on. 
I should have showed you that function actually guys <laughs> you don't have to pulse it it's just that's what the clock's gonna do so if I turn all of them on I can go inside and show you what it will look like when you're coming into the hangar so the idea is when you're coming in blue so the door opens it'll turn everything on well it'll kind of blink actually but <laughs> be nice if it just turn everything on um, and then once the uh, this will start blinking that's the next thing I need to get this thing uh, to uh, open in sequence or turn on in sequence and then the last thing is the red circuit and then it can start interconnecting everything so at the moment there's there it is the the hanger in entrance mode get some screenshots okay let's open the door shall we right beautiful okay so then we'll move on and do the red circuit because it's time consuming and I may as well get it done good we'll do it live okay so here we go this is a new feature if I go and hit my uh, activation block and I want to make a whole row of delay blocks like this along the top I can delete the ones I don't need now if I select with C get the area I want to put nice and in front of me select the delay blocks in the hotbar and then press hold control for advanced build mode and then click and drag <laughs> only the thing is do you know what I've done I've actually hooked up every single individual delay block to the first block <laughs> I just thought I'd show people that for fun. Let's go back down here. Uh, incredibly robust. See, look at that. Disconnected. I just thought I'd show it for the hell of it. Now I'll get back to doing it. Okay, so with that delay circuit down, remember guys, always check your links. So is it going to go all the way down? Because if it doesn't go all the way down, you're going to have problems later. And we're golden, so. Okay, so we're going to recap. Basically what I've done is I've finished wiring up the red and the blue circuits. So I'm going to test the red circuit now. So there we go. Red, one, two, three, and four, and five. There we go. That's that done. So then we come over to this side. Hit up the red circuit again. Good. And I think the red circuit's already on over here. Oh, uh, wait, of course it is, because it's been tripped, except for that one, because that was already on. Oh, no, wait, no, it was already on. <laughs> Dope. Okay, so we've got red circuit on, blue circuit off. So this will be for when the door's shut. And, you know, power down, I guess. So, yeah, screenshot. That's red mode. It's nice. So, next up is the hangar. Uh, dock panel. Docking plate, I guess. So, let's get under there and do that. Okay, guys, so what I've done is I've hooked up this activation block as the starting point to the first delay, which triggers the inner green uh, group. And then the middle group will be triggered by the second delay, half a second later. And then finally, the f last four get triggered by the last one, by this activation block here. And then the signal ends on that last. So if I just set it off, okay, you get that. So if I was to put a clock into this, that's just going to have the same effect as what I'm doing now. Well, but... There we go, I can do it with there. So it's going to look kind of like that. Okay. So from the inside, as you can see here, that really works. Let me see if I can... No, it's too quick for me to... Well, a half a second is too long. Or too quick even. Right, so yeah, beautiful. Moving on. Okay, so here it is. We're going to try it out. See what happens. No door. 
<laughs> no door. No door. D door. I want to get out, please. Oh, there we go. It's because I um. Wait, what? What happened there? <laughs> Let's just have a look at this, shall we? See. Door. Yes. Is it because it's already closed? Yeah, that's why. We need to... Derp. You know what you need? You need a knock gate. Do do do. What are you talking about? There we go. And it's turning everything on. Right, nice. It'll work now. That'll turn it all off as well. <laughs> if you close it from the outside, it shuts the hanger down completely. All right, hang on a sec, Yelby. Yeah, I think it's all shut down now. Let me have a look. Yeah, right, hang on. Okay, so we're going to do a quick recap again on this logical hanger. I've got Yelby here with me. He's going to help me demo the first stage of this. So, obviously, down here, we've got a, a, a knot gate so that uh, when we turn this on, it opens the door and turns the lights on. So, off you go, my friend. I love that docking sequence, mate. Just in case you hadn't noticed there, for the people watching on YouTube's... Look at that. Downwards facing docking cameras. I love it. It's such a beautiful idea. <laughs> Why can't dock anyone else in here? It's beautiful. Yeah, that's the best idea, though. Right. So now we can move on to the next section, which is... If you want to jump out of your uh, space vehicle. So we need to get you sterilized because space is dirty. It's a dirty, dirty place is space. Even though you don't look, you look pretty clean. <laughs> well, I'm a constant burning fireball, what do you expect? <laughs> yeah, that, that could be it. So basically we're going to uh, move down to this section, which is getting this door open. We use a uh, an area for this and uh, some funkiness. Let me get back in. Yeah, sure. So, um, what I've done is I've put an area activation underneath the door, which flips your gravity up, and another area activation near the ceiling in here. <laughs> hmm. Hello, latency. <laughs> yes! It works! <laughs> so anyway, I'll just show you the logic for that. So it could be refined, but what we've got is the door. That's the door. That's the activation bot that triggers the door. Okay, and you walk up to the first area here. Okay, and that triggers your gravity to go upwards, right? Using this activation block. And you can make gravity traps with this, yes. So that'll open the door. And then when you go to the top, where is it? When you use this, whoops. There we go. When you use the top area, which is just there. Do you know, I reckon I could probably make that better. It might be why it's glitching. There we go. So when you use the top area, that flips the gravity and closes it. So in theory, the door should close before your gravity is tripped back. So, I mean, if you're finding that the delay is not enough, you can actually put a delay between the door being opened because it's the door that needs to close first. So for this one, if I was going to do that, I'll just modify it now. So I'll put a delay block in, hook up the activation to the delay, the delay to the gravity, and then take the link off. Sorry, there we go. So now it's going to go one, two, three. So there's going to be a half second delay before he falls back down to the floor. Uh, whereabouts are you? Are you walking back round? Oh no, there he is. I might be. Nice. Could you demo it for me? So you just fly up towards it, flips your gravity, and then after a second, 
It does nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Are they, they, oh, no. <laughs> Hang on a minute. So here we go. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> what happened that time? Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's totally illogical, Captain. Hey! That totally doesn't work. <laughs> got it. Yes! Nailed it. All right. So now we've got our decontamination room. <laughs> uh, Bench says, A set rule in logic is that it won't activate gravity if it has any delayed inputs. Oh, and hello, Bench, by the way. I, that's a very good, good piece of info. I didn't even know that. It won't activate gravity if it has delayed inputs. Oh, it would have made my U-bend so much easier. Okay. All right. So then, from here, we've got our main door. So, I'll just patch this hole up. Or are you going to do it again? May as Maybe. well. Okay, I've got a good... <laughs> you kind of bounce between them a bit. Ah, well, it works. It does work. It's just a bit... Probably needs a bit more distance between it. Yeah, cheers Maybe. for tuning in, by the way. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, cheers. Well, it worked the first time. It did work the first time. It's just I did, wasn't filming it, was I, the first time? <laughs> True. <laughs> okay. So we have our decontamination room. Uh, it's all sealed. It's got a nice automatic thingy with a motion activator. So all we've got to do now is uh, figure out closing that door, flipping the lights, opening this door. So I want to do this and have it close the hanger. So that's the first thing. I'm feeling brave, so I thought I'd recap it before actually checking it. So what we have, yeah, yeah what we have is the door switch that comes straight down from the control room overlooking the hangar. You hit that, sends a pulse through here, and then from this activation it goes down with a one second delay and opens the door. So obviously this happens last, in theory. At the same time, we're going to turn the blue lights on and we're going to close the door. Now, when the door closes, I want to wait a few seconds and I want to turn off the red lights <laughs> because I can, uh, mainly, but we'll do that in a minute. We'll test it first. So here goes nothing. Door is shut. Door is not open. <laughs> Still not open. Ah, wait, I need to invert it, don't I? Derp. But on but on the plus, all the blue lights are on. And it's looking thing. looking pretty sparkly in here right now. Okay. So yeah, I need an inverter on this one, don't I? Du -du 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 so let's see. Go from uh, C and just put an inverted terminal on it. V C V. And then unlink the original link. And I think that should sort it out. Let's have a look. It's open. It's closed. Now, that's how it should be. Because obviously you don't want them open at the same time. Because space. Even though we've got an airlock. Still. Protocol, my friend. Protocol. Got to have your bulkhead sealed. Yeah, you've got to have your bulkhead sealed, you know. Oh, well, we've got a manual override. See? Just in case. Oh, my God! Manual override. Done. So then, from here, we can open the door. And that will change all the lighting as well. So, you can't get down that way at the moment. That's my only uh, herp derp right now. But I'm, I'm guessing you wouldn't go through contamination every time. I don't know. Because, like, obviously, if I was to go up here, I'm going to... Go in gravity, you know, it's not perfect, but like I say, I had this idea, I had to build it. 
There we go, and the lighting is changing. It's beautiful. And now it's like we've got a fully lit hanger now. So then of course we need to have a clock for activating this. I wanna I wanna I gotta do that. Gotta do it. Gotta try. Okay. So here we are, we've got ourselves a basic clock. What I've done is I've just made it a little bit longer. So it's going to start up here and go link to the half second delay, half second delay, half second delay, activation, and then from out of the activation, go into the AND block. From the AND block, we go to the beginning of the clock. And then we get an activation block on the side into the AND. So if I push R, I can activate that. And then the clock works. If I hook it up to this light, you can see it's working. But if I now want it to stop without breaking it, I can just hit that button. No more clock. So then, if I take the output for this clock here, which would be this end, and hook it up to this, which is our light, and so sit under the dock. So press V. Now all I have to do is hit R and get an input into there to start the system. And now we have this. A little bit blinky, but yeah. I'd probably frame it a little bit better. But yeah, that's the effect I was looking for. And the idea is that that keeps running until I get an input from somewhere else. Or even it starts running on a timer. You know, you could, there's lots, lots, of, lots of options. You don't have to just hook it up straight. You could have a timer in there. But yeah. So um, the idea is to start the clock when the door opens. So how do we start the clock up? Because obviously at the moment I'm pushing R on this and I'm pushing R on this. So to stop it, I'm going to take that from the hanger. So over here we've got that. That's the player hitting the button to close the hanger. So we'll have that stop the lights. So we're going to hook it up on there. So at the moment, as it's set, if someone tries to close the hangar door, because I'll be open right now, if someone tries to close the hangar door from up here, it's going to, uh, no it's not. <laughs> it's going to stop this, stop this animation going. But I want to start it off when someone comes in the door. So at the moment, that's off this switch. So down we go, and we've got an, uh, an inverter here. Not sure if I really need the inverter. <laughs> switches on when door opens, switches off on gravity decontamination. Yeah. I'd love it for the, that's it, color coding the lighting system for the room so that, you know, simulate the feeling of atmosphere even though we haven't got it. It still works. I'd love it. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> so I think I could take the yeah yeah so from the door opening there do you know what I reckon I might check and would I be able to get away with flipping it and starting the clock with the same input <sighs> let's try it out so then I think I broke it we have this crazy thing going on over here we've got some kind of clock and it's currently feeding this monstrosity which actually does seem to be working I feel like I'm in a time machine but we've got this sort of weird error code deal I reckon I'm gonna break the clock and restart it here we go boom no more pulse for you stop going nuts Look at it there we go. It rejects. 
Start it up. Come on. Huh. Don't be mental. Oh my god, what's it doing? It's creating random numbers. Why are they... How is it... How did it... Because they're all the same time. They're all... Because it's timed with that. Now they're just all going off at once. So <laughs> <Some of> look. <laughs> Do you know what? It's not what I was going for. But it works. <laughs> Personally, I liked it better when it just went off, you know, without a clock. But, hey, I love making things overcomplicated. Yay. Yay. Overcomplication. Woo. Yeah. Okay. So, we're in here. We're in here. We've come in here. We've gone up here. Up here. And now, we're going to hit the... Why is that door open? We're venting atmosphere. Right. Because uh, someone fired in here. <laughs> I love how that thing's just like I can I can still do it I can still do it but it kind of works the only thing is this door and that door that was wrong let's try it one more time so I'm gonna open the door open the door the door's open the landing thingy's working ish the di the lights are opening the lights are coming on yes all the red lights are on right cool I'm going to come under here, gravity flip, into decontamination, back, and the door's shut. How'd the door shut? <laughs> I don't know, I was going to fly out. Yeah. Oh wait, what? That doesn't make sense. How's the door shut? <laughs> Is it because I did that? Hang on. I'm going to do it again. Oh! Off he goes. Okay, he's gone. Let's just go with that. Shut it all down. No, the lights are coming on. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna let you back in, mate. There you go. Come on back in, quick, before it up, oh, before it all shuts down. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Got it. That wasn't as clean as your first landing. I'm just gonna say that much. Do you wanna come up here? It's a bit dark down there, though. I'll, I'll just, uh, light up I've turned room. all the lights back on again. I think that the door must have been out of sync because it's not opened. Oh, here he, here he is. I Hi. think you're, de I think you're still contaminated with gravity, mate. Ah, there you go. You're clean now. <laughs> oh, look, the door's open and everything. Yeah, nice. It actually worked, mate. I think you have to hit it twice. Maybe that's the problem. It's certainly pretty. <laughs> There's so much more you could do with it as well. Right. Over to the uh, what's it thingy. Do you want to come and hit the... Uh, this one. Uh, come and do the gravity jump again. Oh, okay. Uh oh. What happened? Is it not working? Oh no, there he goes. <laughs> there we go, we got it. We got it, bro. <laughs> okay. And I don't think you actually need to uh, do the switch because the door's closed already. You can just walk straight into the ship. Well, space. So there it is, and I'm going to make that one available for download. So you can have a look at it and fix all the stuff that I derped and maybe even build a ship around it. I don't know. Or just take it apart and figure it out. So yeah. That's it. That's it. The logical hanger. Uh, made for 0.154. And uh, that was basically the entire focus of my live stream. So thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.